From the deposits of Steinkopf in the Northern Cape of South Africa, what you're seeing at the moment is slightly overexposed. Interesting about this one, now the matrix usually lies flat. So you have the uh, crystals li uh, lying flat on the matrix, whereas this one projects up a little bit. Interesting crystallization here. A very, very mild, smoky, all absolutely natural. Interesting, very interesting crystallography in a lot of these. From a luster color point of view, especially from a luster point of view, uh, can be very well compared to the alpine quartzes. Even think of ye synthetic or handmade Swarovski. The fire of Swarovski is within these guys. I think with enough magnification, you'll most likely find traces of hematite even micro uh, pyrite, even uh, in some cases mild chloride deposits and uh, of course epidote as well trapped inside these quartz crystals uh, causing the, the faint shades of color ranging from a smoky to almost a brownness to a greenness, uh, uh, absolutely amazing material has got me quite, quite, quite gobsmacked and quite excited over the last few weeks. You'll notice I've been offering quite a few of these. I just had to share. All the way from South Africa, from Steinkopf in Surrounds, uh, just 60 kilos north of the town of Springbok in the northern Cape of South Africa. Very close actually, actually to a lot of our copper, old copper mines, uh, still copper mining taking place in those parts. Now this is where uh, the, the, the old koi sand back in the day traded with old Jan van Riebeck, the, the Hollander who came to the coast or the Cape to do some trading with the locals.